welcome back to my channel i am not in the uk i am in wonderful switzerland to visit my friend before i go to austria to go skiing very excited first time i'm going skiing in like six years that's been a long time that will be interesting if i remember everything and i have my friend who lives here so i have to come visit her she always brings me good energy we have to go down this super scary slope I'm holding my phone with my hand and I'm trying to freaking head. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> this freaking. Okay. Oh! <laughs> this is very, very steep. It doesn't look like it, but it is steep. Yeah. Oh! Preparation for skiing. After two trains and a bus, we have arrived at our place. The view is pretty cool. The station to go skiing is like there somewhere. It's supposed to be only seven minute walk and skiing is gonna happen on the other side of this hill type situation. In my room, so it's a connecting room. So there's one room here, which I have to go through to go to my room and my room is this one look at this idyllic little tiny room but it's so cute i love it with a little window to look outside uh yeah i'm gonna have a great time here good morning we are getting ready to ski you have to first pick up the skis and the ski passes. Fahr los, Astrid. First day of skiing done. It was quite intense. I can feel my legs. There's one on this side that you can take down instead of taking the like the cabin thing. Yeah, it was super, super icy, very tight. And people were overtaking from all sides. So a rather difficult one. It is day two. It is windy and very, very misty and cloudy. Behind me is the cloud that is being pushed up by the wind there. Um, my hands are freaking freezing, so I'm gonna have to stop filming. It is uh, much colder today than it was yesterday, and the visibility is very little. Here you can see a little bit, but uh, during the ski, when you ski down, you don't see anything. Another day of skiing done and now uh, it's been snowing quite heavily for the past like three four hours so not a lot of skiing but more like sitting indoors and listening to some guy some guy singing Thank you. 
106, man. Okay, it is day three. We are skiing. Doing just a quick video as we're going further in a minute. Um, my shins are on fire. Gel pads on and I'm still in a lot of pain. So we will see how it goes. And they have gone, so I need to go. So good morning. It is 10 a.m. or something like that. I'm supposed to go skiing today and I'm not. My shins really hurt. I've been wearing gel pads yesterday during skiing, but it was very painful. I'm very, very sad. I'm very frustrated. Everything is fine like now. It feels all fine. And the moment I put the shoe on, it's just pain. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Probably <sighs> sulk a little and then stop. <laughs> Well, let's see, let's still make the day something positive and not just be sad. I have Googled around and seen that there is um, a waterfall not far from where we're staying. So I'm walking there right now. It's along a sort of semi-busy road, so it's not really the best walk. Those were fighter jets flying over the mountains. Another thing I found out, I didn't know because I don't look on a map and I'm very bad at geography. Anyway, we are actually very close to Davos. Maybe the jets are like surveying the, I don't know, people, the situation. I don't really know. It's supposed to be around here. I don't have any water on me. So that was a bit stupid. Oh. I see something. I see like, well, I think it is here. It is winter, so obviously most of the water is frozen. It's a very, very small waterfall. Okay, a bit less impressive than I had hoped for, but you know what, it's okay. It uh, was a nice, pleasant walk, even if it was long, mostly along the road. At least I did something out of my day and I didn't mop around in my sadness. I tried to, I tried to do something that is fun, so no day is wasted. Let's go. It is day five. I am back on the slope. Legs are not as painful as they were yesterday, but still quite painful. So we will see how much snowing, how much skiing I get done. It is snowing. It's windy. Visibility is not great. Very much uh, foggy, but we will see. We're staying positive. It is the last day. Snow conditions are good. The higher up you go, further below, it's more like a layer of ice and then on top a thin layer of snow so it's quite difficult to ski on i think we're gonna go higher up on this side it's more cloudy on that side so it doesn't help with visibility but at least the snow is good after six days i'm quite uh, ready to 
move on, should I say. Um, it was a great, great holiday, but I'm also looking forward to going home. I just had a coffee with Bailey's in it and uh, finished it and thought, oh, I have loads of time. And then I realized, no, I don't have any time because the ski lifts close and I had to get one, one more lift, which is this one, to get home. So I had to ski. And I can tell you, it is not a good idea to ski when you've had Baileys. I fell once. I almost fell a second time. So I do not recommend drinking when you're skiing. I don't know why I did it. I thought it, I was cold, so I thought, oh, a bit of Baileys is gonna help me. Yeah, no, no, no good idea. That was my skiing holiday. I hope you enjoyed the panorama view and I hope you feel inspired to go skiing as well or try out skiing. I learned when I was 15 so never too late to start. My technique is passable I would say but mostly I am not really afraid because the way that I ski is when I start becoming afraid I ski quite close to the ground so whenever I fall I don't fall from a great height and I usually don't hurt myself so I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned on my channel for the next one.